Okay, nouns look at a longer word, everything. I chose this word because it's nice and long. It's a combination of two words, so it nicely demonstrates how two words can join together. And finally, because it's so common and so long that it's a challenging word we have to write often. So let's see how we can do this. First, let's look at the simplest possible combination. This will obviously produce a very long word. So, E, V. As we know, the V can connect onto the word line like so, into an arrow. E, V, E, R, Y, T, H. As we know, this is T, H, T plus H. I. Now, here's the thing. The T, H does have an optional bottom line. You can use that to connect to an I. And then N, and then G. Okay, but we do have tons of double letter combinations that we can use here. So let's start with the word every, and then we'll do thing, and then we'll put them all together. So every. I kind of like this word. It's a little challenging, but it can look very, very nice if done properly, especially with calligraphy pens. So what combinations do we have here? Well, we have the obvious, put the R inside of the E, E-R. And then uh, the Y, you know, we could try to add it into here, or we could just add it on the bottom. So let's see here. And, oh, and of course, we have putting the V inside of the E. So, what we can do is E, V, E, R, Y. Every. That one's not bad, actually. Looks kind of nice. Um, can, and if you change the proportions or the width, the width of the lines, you can make it look very interesting. One other thing we can do is we can then put the E, R inside of the E, V. This starts to get a little bit too much for writing with, in, with a normal pen and pencil on a normal pad of paper unless you have enough space. If you have enough space, it works great. So, how can we do this? This is EV, right? Now we need to add the ER after the EV, but we want to put it inside here. So what do we have to do? We have to push this up. So what we have to do is make sure we have our extra room down here for our ER. Okay? Now, by pushing it up like that and drawing it in those sequences, I have not used the most efficient way. The most efficient way, as you can see, would be to follow around the side, come down, do your R, do your V, do your E. And in fact, you could probably even do that E into the end of the first stroke. So as we go around, we come down, we do our R, we can come around and do that. And then all we have to do is that. So we only lifted the pen a single time, but we got E-V-E-R all down on paper. And then we can add the Y here, or we could try to put it inside. But I kind of like it on the bottom there. It kind of looks like a little, a little person holding up a giant burden on his shoulders or something. Thing. Now, thing we've, uh, we've seen before in other words, but let's look at it quickly here. Again, T-H. Now, we could connect the I here like this. But I do not particularly like that look. And the other way to connect them is to draw the I over the T, much like we would do with a D. The D, the I can connect like so, by drawing it over top of the letter. So here we've got T-H-I. Now all we need is N-G. So we can go N-G. Now, of course, the, the angles and the skews can be changed, so we can make that look a lot better by doing this and fitting it in tighter underneath. The other thing we can do is we can use another version of N-G, uh, this version. NG, and then words continue, start from up here and continue down there. So we, we for, with that we would have every thing. That's not very nice, actually. That should be solid. But. Okay, so there we have it. Now let's try to put these together into a single word. This starts to get to be quite a large word. We'll use the version where we put these all to get, well, no, sorry. We'll start with this one. E, V, E, R, Y. T H I N G. Everything. Not bad, but again, we're going to try to make this a square shape, and this seems quite top heavy to me. We could try doing something like E V E R to make it less top heavy, but I'm not going to do that for this one. So, we'll make a bigger circle, come down. That tail can come off to that side. And then what I'll do is, as we know, I can become I-N. And what I have not showed you yet is I-N can also become I-N-G. And that G curl can go in either direction, doesn't matter. But the curl is the G. So what we can do, it, and we can actually keep that on the top side of here once we come down. I'll, you'll see what I mean. We come down under, and now we can stay on the top side of that bar just by curling around the edge there. It's not quite even left to right, but, I mean, you just have to make your adjustments when you're drawing it. Let's see if I can't crank out a slightly 
better looking version quickly. E. I'm going to draw fast. Sometimes that makes things look more fluid. Not bad. Um, it's a busy word, but there's nothing you can do when it's got that many letters. Everything.